I am making chile rellenos or stuffed peppers and I'm using three kind of peppers. So I'm using poblano peppers, Anaheim peppers, and jalapeno. Um, the Anaheim peppers, I'm going to stuff them with cheese, that's it, uh, because I only like, well I like all of them, but cheese um, in them with no meat, oh gosh, they're good. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, stuff this ones with ground beef, and the ground beef I'm going to fry it with the um, uh, mushrooms, onions, garlic, and then I'm going to put a piece of cheese on the top um, in the pepper. And then you're, um, you're going to need eggs, flour, cheese, any kind of cheese, any melting cheese. I like Monterey Jack, but I cannot locate good Monterey Jack. So I like um, the one without the peppers and the Monterey Jack. Um, so I like the plain one. I got this one, Monster Cheese. So I'm going to use that. Um, so you're going to need uh, salt as well and pepper. And I'll be back. First, we're going to start roasting all the peppers, and then we're going to put them in the bag, okay? Okay, I am roasting the peppers, um, and I am making rice on the side. So I have another video on rice, and I'll show you how to make rice. This one, this one I made two cups, so go to my other video, and you can make one cup, or you can add, uh, you can make two cups or more. It, it's, that's fine, but um, I'm getting them ready. I'll be right back. I am roasting my peppers um, and right here I am cooking my meat, my ground beef and then I'm going to drain the oil or the fat, not the oil, the fat. Um, and then I already have the onion ready and I am going to cut up the mushrooms. Do not wash the, your mushrooms. Clean them with a paper towel or a little brush. Okay, but do not wash them. Okay, I'll be right back. Put a little bit of oil. Just tiny bit of oil and I cut up my mushrooms and onion and I'm going to fry it up. Okay, and then I'm going to put um, some garlic and I have the meat over here draining, draining the fat, okay, and then I'm going to put that in here and just put pepper, salt in, and like I said, garlic. And then I'll be ready to stuff the peppers, the poblano peppers. And I have them over here. Um, see? Okay. And I'll be right back. My meat is almost done. See? And I have the uh, roasted chilies um, in a bag. But I'm not closing the bag. I'm just leaving it here in the bag so it can help um, peel the chilies when we're ready to peel them. Um, and here are the other chilies, so I'm almost done. Okay, so most of my uh, chilies are uh, done. Um, and I am starting to take the, um, the peel off. See, just take that off. Um, I do not run them under water because I feel that it takes away the flavor. Um, and I do not close the bag because I feel that um, they, over, they sweat too much and then they overcook. So see, I like them to be a little bit firm, cooked, but firm. So that way it will be easier for us to stuff them and fry them. Okay, and I'll be back and show you. So here are all the roasted peppers. Um, I'm going to take out the seeds. So you take out, out all the seeds. If you don't want to take them out of the jalapeno, that's fine. They're going to be more spicy. But you do, uh, you cut the pepper and just take out all the seeds and what I do is um, just cut here and then just start taking out the seeds with a spoon okay so I'll come back and show you okay after taking out as um, the seeds out from the chilies as many as you can if not okay that's fine you can eat them with the seeds um, but then you stuff them with the cheese the ones that you want with cheese and then the ones that you want with uh, picadillo the meat and the cheese um, this is how I did. Um, and if you want to put toothpicks on them, that's fine. Uh, but on the bottom is the cheese. So this one is cheese, and then I'm going to put the meat. And this one too. And this one I am not. I'm just going to fry them with the cheese um, and the jalapenos. So um, now I am going to get them ready. And then I am going to get some um, flour on the plate. 
and I am going to get the egg ready and I'll show you in a minute. Okay, I have my peppers, my chile rellenos ready. Um, and I put toothpicks on the ones that I have meat, so those are heavy. The other ones, uh, I do not need toothpicks. So now I have the flour ready, I have my frying pan ready, and then I'm gonna get my eggs ready. I'm gonna separate the white from the yolk, and then I'm gonna put it in here to um, make the white stiff um, so we can put the egg yolk and I'll show you in a minute. I am separating the eggs. I have 11 eggs, so this is what you do. Separate the eggs this way and um, just keep going. I, I have 11, so about 16 um, chile rellenos. Um, if it's hard for you to separate this way, um, just get yourself something from the store. They have different things that can help you separate the eggs, okay? egg whites and I'm going to start blending them so they can become um, peaks um, and then I'm going to add my yolk I added salt and then I'm going to add that in here um, and I'll come back if you do not have one of these blenders you can do it with a hand blender or you can do it with a fork back in the day I used to do it with the fork it took a while but it works okay my egg wine is almost done, so I'm going to add the yolk, little by little. Um, and I'm not going to mix it a lot. I'm just going to mix it enough until everything is um, mixed in there, the white and the yolk and the salt. So that's that. That's all I'm going to mix, okay? And I'll be back. Oh, and I'm getting my oil ready. So I'm going to start frying the chiles. So I'm getting ready to fry uh, my chiles. And I have the oil ready. Um, so see how nice it came out. See, if you turn it around, it's not going to fall. So this is what we're looking for. Okay, and I'll come back. Show you, I already have one with flour. So I am going to put the egg in here see how nice the egg is and then I'm gonna put it in the hot oil okay and just let it there for sit there for a minute and put oil on the top so it can uh, cook too on the top when you turn it around is you're not gonna have um, egg all over the oil so this is how you want it to Look, um, this is the consistency I was looking for, and um, I'll be right back. I am done with some, with some of them. They looked so good, um, and they came out the way I like them. So I'll, I'll tell you how's the taste in a minute. I am done. The last one. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's a lot of work, but it's worth it. The flavor is so good. And what you can do is I make the rice so you can make yourself a burrito, a burrito, a flour tortilla, and then put the rice and put the chile. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So try it, okay? Thank you. Here's my chile relleno and uh, flour tortilla. I'm going to make a burrito. If you want to put sauce on it, that's fine. Or if you want to eat it just with corn tortillas or put it in tomato sauce base, it's fine. It's good in either way, okay?